Hey y'all. Just thought I'd come on here and do a little layout share with you. This um, is a sketch from Alice Bowl, scraphappy.org. I believe somebody takes a layout that she does and makes a sketch from it. And she um, posts it in the membership site every month. And you have a chance to um, win a drawing if you complete a layout based off the sketch. But if you go and look at her blog, you'll see where she's posted the sketches and some of the layouts that people um, did based off the sketch. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is the my version of the sketch. It's a pretty basic layout. Um, there's a couple things I'd like to talk about on it. I used a uh, click kit for um, this layout. And it's basically just, you know, the background paper, a couple layers. I did a strip right here. And I used the same, the same pattern paper for this strip. Uh, the paper for the backing for my journaling and the um, title lefty now to make this title I used I pulled out my mini alphabet punch board there's two sizes this is the small one and so I, I believe the letters are like an inch and a half or two inches tall and when you buy the um, punch board you get a little booklet that basically shows you how to punch each of the letters from the paper using the board. So I've only used it a couple of times. So I was glad to uh, be able to pull it out because there was a big title on the sketch. So I did a big title. Um, I did um, some stitching on three sides because I wanted to include the um, coloring that my granddaughter did. So I just, instead of making a two page layout, just to have a picture of this, um, this coloring, I um, made a pocket. So I just stitched three sides of my paper. And I made, took a uh, tag and made a little pull so you know to pull that out. So when you pull it out, there is her coloring that she did in that photo. And I just backed it on a piece of cardstock and left a um, gap in it at the top between the uh, coloring and the backing just to make it a little bit thicker. Then it can just slide right back into the pocket. And so you can see that's the back matting here. And then I took another um, paper here. So it's in between the, the black cardstock and this paper. And I cut, uh, I gutted a piece out for some reason. But I just wanted to show you, I did the hand stitching around the edges on the three sides and if I thought about it I would incorporate just like when you do um, cross stitching or needlepoint I just kind of incorporated the loose thread into the pattern here and here so you don't have to um, put anything on the back of it to keep the you know the thread from coming loose and unwinding but in the areas that I didn't I just took some double-sided uh, adhesive tabs and pulled them off and left the the um, the backing on and just put it over my um, loose stitches the only other thing I wanted to mention was I do like to handwrite a lot of my journaling unless it's long and I'd like to encourage other people to do that too because I have cards from when I was a little girl that I got from my grandmother and I have a letter that she wrote me and she's passed away. Mm, I can't remember the year. It's been 
10 plus years ago. And um, she was very special to me. And I treasure any card that I have, any letter. She wrote a recipe. I treasure it because she hand wrote it. And she did not have the best penmanship in the world, but I would not trade that for anything in the world. So when you're making your layouts, you know, sometimes hand write, even if you just journal on the back of it, so that one day your loved ones can um, see your handwriting when, when you're not here anymore. And it may mean something very special to them to have that part of you. So I would just like to encourage you you to try, you know, some handwriting on your layouts. But I think that's all I wanted to say about this layout. And I hope y'all are being productive and making layouts too. Or some other type of crafty project. And we'll see you next time. Bye.